Hello students, welcome to 60 out of 60 in KSET Chemistry 2025 series in just 200 days. So as you all know, we have started a series where we are covering every concept from chemistry. We are practicing a lot of questions and PYQs. So yes, in today's video, we are going to complete one of the most important chapter that is DNF block. And in today's video, we are going to cover lanthanoids, actinoids and its applications. Okay. So this will be the last part of this DNF block series and will be like this is a very small portion, few electronic configurations and then then few exceptions you need to remember then definitely you can score from here okay and questions are also asked very easy from this portion now coming to the whatsapp channel i always tell you please join our whatsapp channel the link of the whatsapp channel is there in the description section now why you need to join this channel it is because uh, the notes the pdf and then your class um, whatever classes we are taking the notes you can get questions you will get solutions you will get so everything will be provided in our whatsapp channel so do not forget to join our whatsapp channel okay so now without any delay let us get started so first of all as i have already shown you many times you might be bored of this but dnf block we have discussed with that in four parts we are going to cover so in part one we are going to cover position that we have already covered actually electronic configuration Part 2, general properties. This is the major part from where many questions will be asked. Part 3, oxo acids and then we have uh, part lanthanoids and actinoids and one more here important compounds right so these are the things that we have already covered and today we are going to cover lanthanoids and actinoids okay so now this is the you can see uh, weightage two to three questions every year has been asked okay now dnf block element so lanthanoids so in lanthanoids what all things we are going to cover so electronic configuration atomic sizes lanthanide contraction oxidation states color magnetic behavior chemical reactivities and the uses okay and in actinoids we are going to cover electronic configuration atomic sizes oxidation states and then some general characteristics okay so now coming to the lanthanoid so you can see the periodic table here this series okay i hope it is visible this one below the periodic table the first green color which you see that is called as lanthanide series okay now talking about its electronic uh, configuration so first of all i'll tell lanthanides belong to f block okay f block now what do you mean by f block the last electron enters to the 4f subshell so the last electron enters to the f subshell then it is called uh, either lanthanides or actinoids these are called as your inner transition elements okay inner transition elements if the last electron enters to f, f orbital then it is called inner transition elements now here if the last electron enters to the 4f subshell then it is called as lanthanoids okay and they are also called as rare earth metal because they are found very rarely on the earth now the general electronic configuration is xe 4f 1 to 14 5d so i can write here there is some typing error here so 4f 1 to 14 5d 0 to 1 and 6s2 okay so this is the general electronic configuration now here you can see the electronic configurations of different elements now you might be thinking that we have to remember again these many electronic configurations but i'll tell you only certain elements you need to remember cerium you have to remember okay and then europium gadolium okay then uh, yttrium and lutetium so I'll recommend that please remember the electronic configurations of these five, uh, five elements, cerium, europium, gadolium, yttrium and lutetium. Okay. Now coming to the atomic sizes. So along the period, the atomic size decrease. This is due to lanthanide contraction. Okay. So I hope I, I have already explained you lanthanide contraction. This is the steady decrease in the size of the atoms uh, due to the poor shielding of 4f orbitals. Right. If you haven't watched, you can watch my previous video where we have discussed lanthanide contraction in detail. Okay. So now what happens? due to the poor shielding of 4f orbitals the size along the period decreases okay so you can see from lanthanum to lutetium the size is decreasing steadily okay that is called as lanthanide contraction now what are some specific uh, i can say uh, some specific um, applications of lanthanide contraction you can find is that these atoms are almost of same size okay you can see it is from 57 to 71 63 65 67 right so these are the atomic numbers and if you see the ionic ready you can see from uh, 
that is it is starting between 100 and then somewhere between 80 I can say so it in 80 to 100 uh, picometers all the atoms lie so their size is almost similar so what happens it is very difficult to now separate them okay what is the first thing now the basic character decreases so now if you see lanthanide hydroxides okay the basic character means the release of OH right but as we move along the period the size is decreasing the bond is increasing the bond uh, I can say bond strength is increasing so that is why it becomes difficult to release OH plus so I can say the basic character decreases along the period now 4d and 5d elements have almost the same size okay that is also we have discussed examples are zirconium and have ammonium nb and ta and molybdenum and tungsten okay now coming to the oxidation states here so the oxidation state the common oxidation state of lanthanide is plus 3 but some elements also show plus 4 and some elements also show plus 2 oxidation state now for plus 4 you can see pr plus 4 ce plus 4 tb plus 4 and dy plus 4 okay so you can remember out of this i'll tell ce plus 4 you must remember okay now Europium 2 plus, Tm 2 plus and Yb 2 plus these are also your, uh, they also have plus 2 oxidation states, okay, generally the oxidation state is plus 3. Now, if you might think that Europium 2 plus is having, why it is plus 2, uh, what is the reason for that? So, it has 4F7 configuration, half filled here, okay. Now, if you see Tm 2 plus and Yb 2 plus, right, if you see uh, Tholium 2 plus, uh, sorry, YB2 plus if you see YB2 plus has YB2 plus if we see 4F14 right so that is a fully filled configuration so YB2 plus is stable because of 4F14 configuration clear so now this is plus 4 some elements you should remember CE plus 4 and for plus 2 you must remember EU2 plus and YB2 plus okay 4F7 and 4F14 configurations are there now coming to color so like in D block the color is due to DD transition and similarly in uh, lanthanides the color is due to FF transition okay now the color depends on the number of unpaired electrons here a very interesting thing is there 4FN and 4F14 minus N will have the same color okay I have given a question from here also you can understand 4FN and 4F14 minus N have the same color 4F0 and 4F 14 are colorless why because there is no unpaired electron right if no unpaired electron is there then what will happen there will be no ff transition okay now coming to the magnetic properties so again here you know how to they, if there is unpaired electron they will be magnetic so ce plus 4 and yb2 plus are diamagnetic because there is no unpaired electron that uh, Lanthanum and lutetium are also diamagnetic. ND is the one with most paramagnetic material, means it has the highest number of unpaired electrons. Highest number of unpaired electrons. Now, other all elements in LN plus 3 state, they all are paramagnetic. Okay. So, next coming to chemical reactivity, so that is the generally questions are not asked from here, but we can see, like suppose you see lanthanide, it is very easy to see. So, sulphur oxidation state, you know, minus 2, lanthanum is plus 3. So, if the combine, we will get LN2S3. Now, with nitrogen, you know, lanthanum is plus 3, nitrogen is minus 3, so we will get LNN. Similarly, you can have for in oxygen, lanthanum is plus 3, oxygen is minus 2, we will get LN2O3. With acids, it will release H plus. With halogens, we will get LNX3. With water, we can get, because these oxides are, uh, uh, what I can say, because they form basic oxides, so we will get lanthanum hydroxides with water, with H2, okay. Now, coming to the uses, so this is very important, mic metal. So, mic metal is an alloy, okay. In this alloy, it is generally used for making pipelines and all. Now, in this, the lanthanide contraction is, uh, the lanthanide percentage is 95%. Iron is another 5% and you can find some traces of sulphur, carbon, calcium and aluminium. Okay, so you must remember mic metal is made up of lanthanides and iron. Okay, now coming to some questions we will solve. Identify the incorrect statement among the following. Lanthanide contraction is the accumulation of successive shrinkages, right? So, along the period there is successively shrinkage of the atomic size. So, that is what is lanthanide contraction. So, this statement is correct. As a result of contraction, the properties of 4D and transition have 
no similarities with the 5D series of transition elements. So, okay, 4D, uh, they are selling 4D and 5D has no similarities because of lanthanide contraction, but that is incorrect, right? But let us see the other statements. Shielding power of 4D electrons is quite weak. Next, uh, there is a decrease in the radius of atoms or ions as one proceeds from lanthanum to lutetium, right? So, this statement is incorrect. So, as a result of lanthanide contraction, the properties of 4D series of transition elements have no similarities. The size almost becomes similar, right? So, there is some similarity. So, the incorrect statement is option number B. Okay, now coming to question number 2, lanthanide contraction means, so small atomic size of lanthanide elements, small um, size of lanthanide ions, smaller ato atomic size of lanthanides as compared to transition elements in the same period, decrease in atomic and ionic radii of the elements of lanthanide series in moving from left to right, okay. So, that is what decreases in the atomic size along the period, okay, that is what is called as lanthanide contraction. Now, which of the following element has maximum number of oxidation states? So, maximum number of oxidation shows by ND because it has maximum number of unpaired electrons, okay. Now, which pair of the compound shows same color, okay. So, for here you need to know that if there, if we have seen that 4F N and 4F 14 minus N, if these two are same, then they will have same color, right. So, what are the different elements we have? SM3 plus, okay, DY3 plus, then uh, lanthanum 3 plus, then I have PR3 plus, okay, and then we have uh, EU3 plus. Okay. So, now let us check these elements. So, first of all, I will go to the electronic configuration page because we need, okay. Now, if you see europium, right, where is europium? Europium 3 plus is 4F6. So, I will come, I will write here, I will compare SM, DY and europium, okay. So, if you see, first is SM3 plus, SM3 plus is 4F5, okay. So, I can write it as 4F5. Now, if you see uh, next one, DY3 plus, DY3 plus is 4F9, okay. I think I got the answer here, 4F9, sorry. 4F9, uh, right. So, now you see this is suppose N, then this is 14 minus N, that is 14 minus 5, that is 9, right. So, SM and DY will have same color, right. So, now we can go back to our question and yes, so the same color is SM and DY, correct answer is option number A, okay. Now, coming to actinoids, okay. So, this is as I told you, this is your inner transition elements and the first one is called as lanthanide series and the second one is called as actinoid series, okay. So, now coming to actinoid series, the last electron enters in the 5F subshell, okay, and they are all radioactive. The general electronic configuration here is Rn, 5F, 1 to 14, 6D, 0 to 1. 7s2 okay this one please do not check there is some error here so you can write down this one rn 5f1 to 14 6d0 to 1 and 7s2 okay now coming to the electronic configuration here generally you can remember the electronic configuration of uranium okay this is important uranium electronic configuration must be remembered that is 5f3 6d1 7s2 okay now, other elements, uh, electronic configuration is not asked, so you can leave it. Now, coming to the atomic size, so like uh, lanthanides, how there is a decrease, steady decrease in the size of the lanthanides, there is also a similar decrease in the size of the, uh, I can say, uh, actinoids because of actinoid contraction. Now, this is due to the poor shielding of, sorry, this is due to poor shielding of 5F orbitals, okay. Now, coming to the common oxidation state, so the common oxidation state of actinoids is also plus 3. The highest oxidation state is plus 7, which is uh, obtained or uh, which is given by two elements, NP and PA. So, if you know, NP is your neptunium, right, and PA, so that is your proctactinum, okay. So, these two elements are there and plus 6, plus, so now plus 7 is what, it is the highest oxidation state, but it is unstable. Okay. Now, if I stable but highest, stable highest oxidation state, 
is nothing but uranium okay plus 6 state okay now coming to some question so general electronic configuration is given to you which of the elements actinoids uh, have one electron in the 6d orbital okay so if you see 6d orbital one electron is present in uranium so that is why i told you you must remember uranium electronic configuration 5f3 6d1 and 7s2 so there are three elements with one uh, 6d1 electron in 6d that is actinum uranium proctatinum and neptunium okay so you can remember these four elements name so here answer is uranium and now let us do some practice questions that is your pyqs so i'll tell you this is a very small chapter a very small section so this was a homework question that gave you, that i gave you in my previous class of important compounds right so here i'm asking you kmno4 that is mno4 2 minus is getting converted to mno2 then mn2o3 then mn2 plus right mno4 um kmno4 minus okay mno4 2 minus also okay so mno4 minus gets converted to okay these are the thing now this is plus 7 okay so this is plus 6 this is plus 4 this is uh plus 3 and this is plus 2 okay so now you see 7 to plus 6 how much charge will be there we need 1 faraday so 1 so we can eliminate these two options now plus 4 7 plus 7 to plus 4 we need 3 so we can eliminate this option also correct answer will be option number c okay now coming to the next question which of the following oxidation states is common for all lanthanides so the common oxidation state is plus 3 okay next which of the following statements is wrong okay be very careful whether it is asking correct or incorrect statement regarding lanthanoids so ln plus 3 compounds are predominantly ionic in character lanthanum hydroxides are mainly basic in nature the ionic size of lanthanides decreases with the increasing atomic number and ln3 plus compounds are generally colorless so you see we have studied that lanthanides also are very colorful compounds due to ff transition right so the correct answer for this question will be option number d okay next the electronic configuration of gd2 plus is so gadolium electronic configuration we need to check okay so we have to go a little back here gadolium 2 plus i told you to remember gadolium 2 plus configuration is 4f7 5d1 okay so now if you see we'll go fast 4f7 5d1 so that is your 4f7 5d1 correct answer is option number b okay now which of the following is an amphoteric oxide so v2o5 and cr2o3 so this i have covered in my previous class if you haven't known you can see that next uh, the element which follows the lanthanoids in the sixth period so after lanthanoids there is the element hafmonium right so the correct answer here is option number a okay now this is a question for you that you have to practice which of the following lanthanide ions are paramagnetic in nature okay so these are the elements some so please check like which type of elements are given in the options make sure to remember their electronic configurations okay so thank you so we have completed finally d and f block i know this is one of the most boring chapter i feel personally but yes i have tried to cover it in simplified form so that you do not feel very hectic or you need not read book so much times so i have tried as much as possible so yes now we are going to start the next chapter that is coordination chemistry in our next class so i hope all of you are enjoying this lecture all of you are attending the classes and all of you are preparing really really hard for your case at examination okay please remember this is the time where you have to start the preparation okay otherwise we will not end up in hitting that perfect 60 score right so yes all the very best to all of you and please keep studying keep smiling stay healthy see you soon in the next episode do not forget to subscribe the channel and join our whatsapp channel okay